So the cast of Family Ties reunited for charity last night. The 80s sitcom featured Michael J. Fox as Alex P. Keaton, a conservative childish. Republican being raised by liberal childish. parents. You remember the show. And during the reunion, Michael Gross, who played the dad, reflected on the politics at the time. Watch. I love the time that we were together. I mean, that was, a, uh, as I, I think, as you'll all agree, a kinder, gentler politics. It was a great time in the same way we hammered out our compromises in the family, and I think that's one of the things that people loved about us. So this nice. show could not have, uh, would not survive now. We couldn't it have would, the same. it would, it I would. Do. We have family members that are on different pages, yeah. and I we do get people, along. I think people want a show like this. That's interesting. Do you think that a show like that would survive in today's political climate, Jeff? I like how all the political comments are coming right at me. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. And shame on you. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I don't think it could because back then it seemed so peaceful, right? There were two people on either side of the aisle. They had their differences. It was almost comical at times. And they loved each other in the end. Today's climate, friends, family like this are broken up. People are outraged on Facebook and social media because of this topic. It's insane, and I don't think we could have a show that honestly depicts what people are feeling in America these days. Yeah, and also the dynamic, Sam, is way different. You know, that was the, the reason that Alice was a conservative, is, and we saw this a lot with the children of the air quotes hippies, is the hippies are like, oh, we just let Jeff run around in the field, and I don't know where my kid is. I don't know. And like, those kids rebelled against that and became yuppies and uptight and moved to the suburbs and did things on the schedule because they kind of craved that lifestyle that they didn't get from that parent. So that kind of generation is gone at this point. And I think in terms of politics, Sam, and I want to hear what you and Eric have to say about this. I think the politics has changed because it's so there's so much more at stake. It's not just about, oh, did he blow the budget? Like this is pe people's lives. Yeah, e Erica, I think that's a really important point by Al. I mean, of course, social issues mm -hmm. and racial justice issues are uh, for, were, have forever been um, a, a, a stain on our record when it comes to America. However, right now they, they seem to be front and center. So it's, it's putting people on two completely different sides with no, for many people, there's no negotiating. Do you think a show like Family Ties would somehow break that up and promote civility? Or do you think that's just, it's not even possible because it comes off insensitive? I just disagree with everything that was said because I think that we have a, a, a habit of acting like we're the first to ever do it. The dynamics may change, the subject matter may change, but the idea of things changing from generation to generation is nothing new. I mean, if you really are talking about most family households, even if there's differing opinions, it's not as polarizing as people really want to believe. I do understand there are extremes, but for the most part, think about last Thanksgiving. I know that was a really long time ago and that was a whole different world. You have your parents who may feel a certain way based on their experiences and then you might have the children who are the woke police being like no you're wrong and this is why I mean these conversations are being had in most households and in most households they don't involve someone never speaking to the other person again or someone throwing something and walking out the door I think these are conversations that are just a part of a growing process in a society and with family now all of this has been very extreme and for very good reason but at the same time I think in the middle in the middle ground is where most of us end up but Erica you're talking about keeping that in house as in the older days right now when you have that in house no I'm talking about right now in our homes just like family ties and w the way the dynamics were with the family I'm talking about family dynamics right so I'm saying nowadays people split up or they go to their rooms and are mad and they don't just you know wait it out and then talk and uh, afterwards they go on social media and it fuels the fire it fuels the steam to their side of things and now all of a sudden they found someone that agrees with their point of view and now they're more into the computer than they are with talking it out with their own family or best friend that's what I'm saying this it's different from generation to generation social media is the difference in our generation all right I, I mean, I'm Fine. not disagreeing that that's happening, but I do understand that it's not happening for everyone. And I think that we really need to get to a place where we're acknowledging, you know, we can have these conversations and these conversations are happening 
all over the country. It doesn't have to be racist versus not racist. I mean, it might just be a different in, a difference in ideology, which is generally what's happening. I mean, it's not like I had to remove a ton of my friends and people around me because I just discovered they were racist. If they were racist, they likely were not in my circle. Agreed, mm. agreed.